What's up guys, uh, welcome to Top Form for you. In today's video, I've got the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and uh, this one is the Chinese version and I'm just gonna show you, quickly show you how you can uh, customize it uh, using the Chinese ROM and uh, remove all the Chinese app and uh, install a Google Play Store and uh, customize it to look like the global version without unlocking the bootloader or flashing the ROM. So before we do anything, well, I'm just gonna quickly go through the initial setup and uh, once it's uh, up and running and then I'll take you through how you can remove all the Chinese app and install the Play Store. So just tap on next and choose the language as English at the moment it's only English and Chinese. Okay, so now uh, as you can see, there is no Google Play Store and uh, it has all the Chinese app. So uh, the first thing I, I need to do, just, uh, I'm just gonna check to make sure it's got the latest uh, MIUI version. There is a new version, I'm just gonna download and install it. Okay, the phone is back on, so I'm just gonna check on the settings. So now it's uh, running the MIUI version 12.5.7, which is the latest one, and there is no new version, just update successfully. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna remove uh, some of the Chinese app, which uh, comes with the phone. I'm just gonna open uh, by opening the Get app, and then Agree. And then I'm just gonna tap on Account, the bottom right, and then you just go to uninstall and then from here you can tick all the app uh, you don't want to have on the phone and uh, they will be removed just uh, tick on the right all the app you don't want to keep just gonna remove all these because they'll be all in Chinese so leave the Google contact sync, don't remove it because that will uh, allow you to get your contacts once you install the Google Play Store. Okay, I've got about 35 app uh, selected, so I'm just going to tap on uninstall all at the bottom. And then uninstall. Once you do that, all those app will be removed. Okay, that uh, has now completed. Um, so if you look, uh, there is only a few apps. I can just tap on that, remove, then remove. Okay, those uh, apps uh, have been uh, removed now. As you can see, it's uh, cleaner than uh, how it was before. So now I'm just going to open the App Store again. Go home. Then I, I, I need to... Uh, Okay, the next step I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna install the Google Play Store. Just search for Google. And then just search. Okay, once you search, you can just install it there. You just tap on update, and then that will uh, install the Play Store for you. If it doesn't show there, uh, you might need to have a VPN uh, installed, um, and then uh, choose the UK or any country in Europe. And the Google Play Store will show on uh, on the uh, Get app. And otherwise, you have to use uh, the Google installer uh, to install uh, the Play Store and the Google services. Once uh, that's installed, you just close it. And then you see the Play Store is there. Just uh, open it up. So all you need to do is just sign in. And then here, just uh, put in your uh, Gmail account or your Google account to sign in. 
I've uh, accepted the terms and condition and there you go you, you are now signed into the Google uh, Play Store just as open uh, the Play Store and then search for Google to install all most of the Google app you need the Google app install Chrome install the Google Assistant Google contacts just go through and install all the Google app uh, you want to install So just wait for this uh, app uh, to install. Okay, now I have uh, some of the app uh, installed. Uh, all I need to do is just uh, put all the Google app in one folder by moving apps inside. I'm just gonna move this out and put Chrome in there. And move this out and then put Google Messages there. Eh? I'll rename this folder to Google. I forgot I need to go back and install the Google keyboard. So I move the Play Store, so I'm just going to activate the Google uh, Keyboard. Switch this on. And then turn that off. And then go back. Okay, that's now done. And switch off. Okay, so now if I go to the Play Store, and then type to search you I get the Google keyboard yeah that's fine uh, next I'm just going to deactivate the me uh, search bar at the bottom and then uh, put the Google uh, one uh, Google assistant on the top I'm just going to tap and hold on the on the bar and then go to settings and then where you say trigger search and then just switch this off which will remove the the bar for you and then just to delete and then go back back again as you can see here there the bar is now gone so i'm just I'm gonna 
clear this uh, notification and then now just uh, just go onto the widget by uh, pinching the screen and then uh, widget and then find the Google assistant widget there it is then just tap and hold and then move it to the top and then as you can see it is there so you just move this down so now open the text messages and then set it as default and then just change that and then set as default and then allow allow and then okay so the google messages is set as default for your text messages next we need to go to the setting to make sure that google has got the right permission you just go on to the settings and then goes to apps and then the permissions and then go to permissions again and then scroll down and then google and then make sure it's got the right permission you just up on the uh, uh, the question mark next to what permission you wanna allow and then uh, just allow it or just widely in use or deny it. So you just uh, need to access the the internal storage. If you wanted to access your messages, you just uh, allow read messages. And that's it just uh, go now if you go back now we're gonna install I'm starting a uh, Google pay And just cross this, you just go. I'm gonna move this to the Google folder. Okay, now I've got a uh, Google uh, Pay uh, installed. I just need to uh, set uh, Google Pay to be my default. Just go into the settings and then go to connection and sharing. And then uh, from there, scroll down. And the way you see contactless payments, so just tap on that. And then we say payment default, you just uh, select that and then you select uh, Google Pay. And then now your Google Pay will be the default uh, wireless payments. So you just always use the default. If you click more then there's nothing, you can just go back. And now uh, your uh, uh, Google Pay is uh, your default uh, wireless payments. So uh, that's uh, how you can uh, customize your device uh, and uh, install a Google Play Store on the Chinese version of the Mi 11 Ultra okay that's it from me if you enjoyed this video give us a, a thumbs up to help us out and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and enable notification for my latest video thank you for watching stay safe and i'll see you on the next one